everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to bring you some fragrances today that I classify as zesty. And the reason I classify them as zesty is because of the citric aromas that these fragrances have applied to them. I find them to be a great deal excessive amount of citric within them that makes the aroma very tangy. When it's tangy, it has that lemon scent applied to it, which elaborates itself over all the other notes in the fragrance. And the first one that I want to bring to you that I consider to be excessively zesty, and it happens to be Jimmy Choo. Jimmy Choo is a very captivating fragrance, and it's a woman's fragrance, and this is EDP, and this right here it happens to be three ounces. It's a beautiful scent. Within this fragrance right here, I highly, highly admire Jimmy Choo fragrances overall, but this one right here surprised me extensively. The last time I applied it, when I first opened this fragrance, I'm going to tell you the truth, I did not really like it. I had acquired this as a blind buy, and I didn't really like it, but it's one of those fragrances that gradually adapts itself to your body chemistry and that's what this one did to me it adapts itself to my body chemistry and that's why i find that this fragrance right here i discovered that it's very unique it's very captivating and it's also secretively seductive and it's one of those their fragrances that grants a woman the perception or the, to be more opinionated and perceive that she's in control in other words a woman can take control with this fragrance because it's very dominating to an extent it dominates any other aromas within the room because it has a very captivating scent and the reason it has a captivating scent is because it's extremely zesty and that extremely zestiness comes from fragrance having an elaborate amount of lemons applied in this fragrance the lemons exuberate itself over all the other notes and you have in this fragrance amber vetiver but an excessive amount of lemon in this fragrance and that's why i classify jimmy chu illicit as being excessively zesty and a zesty fragrance to me happens to be something that's refreshing and uplifting and also it's appealing it's attractive in other words it's a beautiful scent so I'm bringing you number one, Jimmy Choo Illicit Lovely Fragrance. And the number two fragrance I have for you happens to be um, Marc Jacobs Decadson. Marc Jacobs Decadson happens to be a lovely fragrance also. I have brought this fragrance to you many, many times, but I never classified it as being zesty. But it's excessively zesty because it also has an exceptional amount of lemongrass within this fragrance. An exceptional amount of lemongrass. Lemongrass happens to be extremely citric. Extremely citric. And with this one, you're going to detect an exceptional amount of Again, mm, black currant, vetiver, jasmine, some amber, and of course, you have your lemongrass, which is more dominant in this particular fragrance because it has a very, very, very rancid aroma to it, and the citric dominates everything. And I had never really taken into consideration why. I've always explained to you that this fragrance right here it's appropriate for a jazz concert yeah at an outdoors event because of the scent so elaborately dominating and the reason i say that happens to be because of the fact that it's very potent it's potent and it has an alluring a clingy type scent that remains constant on your body so and the reason that it's like that happens to be because it's full of lemongrass, which makes it excessively zesty. It's definitely citric, which means you're going to appreciate the zestiness of this fragrance. And the next one I have for you happens to be um, Michael Kors, and it's Michael Kors Coil. 
Michael Kors Coil happens to be another excessively zesty fragrance. And I'm saying it's zesty because of the fact that, honey, as you can tell by the color of this here container here, this fragrance happens to be loaded with mandarins. And we all know that mandarins are excessively citric. The scent itself happens to be a little bit more unique. This one right here is totally indifferent from the first two I presented to you. This one right here is a lot more rosy, clean, fresh, soft, more sophisticated type of a scent. So it's not a, a potent, strong, heavy, enduring, zesty, or citric. It's more of a light citric, citric, but it's loaded with lemons. This fragrance right here is loaded with lemons. It's loaded with mandarin. It's loaded with grapefruit. Everything about this like a chorus coil, which originates, I guess, the color of the, the fragrance itself, is loaded with citric. Nothing but citric in here. You have a little bit of um, vetiver and you have a little bit of jasmine associated with this fragrance and some roses. But honey, like I said before, it has a, it has an exceptional amount of citric within this fragrance and it has an uplifting, very light, sweet, delicate aroma. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful aroma. And I love it. I really do. But it is an, it is an unpleasant sweetness. It, it's the, just the right amount of sweetness. With very lovely, very attractive aroma. But remember, this one here is more dominated with citric. Because you, like I said before, you have your mandarins, you have your lemons, and you have your grapefruits in here. So honey, this baby right here is exceptionally zesty. Michael Kors Coil. <laughs> okay, my next zesty scent I'm bringing to you happens to be also a woman's scent, and it happens to be YSL Opium. YSL Opium. Oh, honey, this is my baby right here. This is definitely my signature. I think I told you that before. This is definitely the girl's signature scent here is a very motivational fragrance for me. Why yourself? Honey, the most important thing about this right now is that the fragrance is zesty. It's so zesty. It's beautifully zesty because it comes to you with taco beans. It comes to you with coffee beans. It comes to you with jasmine. It comes to you with some hints of floral attributes applied to this fragrance as well, but it's beautifully designed. It's a lovely fragrance. And definitely, honey, I don't make everything my signature, but honey, I'm proud to tell you that this here YSL St. Eve Laurent Opium are one of my loves. Come on, when I say it's loaded with citric, it's loaded with lemons as well. But it's very sweet to some extent, not excessively, but it's sweet as well. The lemon zestiness has been to do a little bit in this fragrance in other words it's calming the lemons in this fragrance are a little calming but the fragrance overall is very beautiful they the combination of notes are applied and aligned so lovely to the point where the citric in here does not dominate the fragrance it's beautiful and i love it and that's my number four citric ysl zesty fragrance that I'm bringing to you today. Isn't it gorgeous? It's a beautiful bottle, beautiful container, and beautiful fragrance, and it's even more attractive on me. Two, two, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent, beautiful scent, beautiful scent. The next fragrance I have for you today happens to be a very, very, very zesty fragrance and this fragrance happens to be Shalomar Girlin. Beautiful. Hey, look at that container. Oh, 
turn it around. See the name? It has a little ribbon hanging off of there. And not only does it happen to be a very, very beautiful set. Isn't that a lovely, ooh, lovely, beautiful, attractive container? You want to know what this fragrance represents? This fragrance means temple of love. This bottle is shaped like a temple because it means temple of love. And it's a love story between an emperor and a princess. That's the origination of the idea of this fragrance and the bottle. So this overall container was designed as a representation of a love story. I think the creation is absolutely beautiful. The container itself, the way it's designed, it happens to be extremely beautiful. And that's why I wanted to explain to you why it was originated and because it does have meaning. The notes themselves consist of an exceptional amount of lemon. This is a zesty fragrance, so it consists of an exceptional amount of lemon citric notes within this fragrance. But the reason I wanted to bring this one to you, and this is the fragrance that, that made me want to conduct this particular video because of the aroma. The aroma in this fragrance is different and unique. And at first I didn't really admire it that much, but honey, it, to me it smells a little bit too soapy, but it has to blend with your body chemistry. And after you blend with your body chemistry, it began to smell more appropriate. And with this one, like I said, it's zesty, but it has a great deal of lemon in it, and it's exceptionally light. It's light, it's clean, and it's very clean and fresh. It smells like a bar of soap. It smells like a, a variety of bars of soap. It has some green notes in it, exceptionally green because the green elevates itself when you apply it to your body. But the citric is very obvious in there because it has a large capacity of citric elements within in this fragrance which makes it very deliciously fresh and it also has a combination of bergamot, citric, jasmine. All of these make this fragrance exceptionally fresh and very appealing but it also smells like it has a little hint of peppermint in it. It's for a very beautiful sunny summer day. To me this isn't a winter fragrance. To me, this isn't a fall fragrance. It's appropriate for a very warm summer day. And the reason I say that, it could be spring, summer, but it just has that clean, refreshing, uplifting aroma applied to this that makes it so exotically lovely. It's a lovely fragrance. It falls into that category of all things fresh. So this one here is my number one zesty fragrance because of the way the notes are originated in here and also the history revolving around this fragrance creation. So I highly recommend all of the zesty fragrances to you today and check you out later.